Ave Maria St Luke's Gospel chapter 17 verses 11 onwards says talks about how Jesus heals 10 lepers after the healing nine lepers go their own way and only one leper a samaritan a foreigner comes to thank Jesus and Jesus remarks I healed 10 where are the other nine today as we enter the second day of novena we remember with gratitude all that god has done for our lives through the intercession of mother of mother mary year after year we come with petitions to mother mary asking for her intercession and many a times our prayer is answered and we conveniently forget and go our own ways patting our backs for the hard work that we have done and for the achievements without remembering or giving gratitude to god everything in heaven and earth is god's that's what the word of god says and at all times we should give gratitude to god. today's message will be given by father joseph pindikanil who will be talking on the theme a call to be grateful to god father joseph pindikanil doesn't require any introduction because he was our very dear assistant parish priest till 2016 When we talk about him we remember his cheerful disposition and simple personality and his sermons were very simple realistic and heartwarming He worked tirelessly among the poor and the needy and he was instrumental in arranging bus service for the poor and the needy from the villages uh, for the holy mass here in the church as well as the children for the catechism classes he was a very sincere and hard working priest when he worked among the poor and the needy and that truly exhibited him as being a true disciple of jesus my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ praise be the mighty name of our lord jesus christ of sabko jai yesu ki My dear brothers and sisters, we are going to celebrate the feast of our patron saint, Most Blessed Virgin Mary. On 15th August, we are celebrating the feast of the Assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary. We know the great role Mother Mary plays in our lives. विशेष रूप से मां मरियम के जीवन पर मां मरियम के जीवन पर मन चित्र करेंगे विशेष रूप से हम देखेंगे आज के पौत्र सुसमाचार में हम देखेंगे कि मां मरियम हमेशा कृतज्ञ कृतज्ञ थी आभार थे संत लुकस के अनुसार पवित्र सुसमाचार अध्याय एक में हम बढ़ते हैं कहते हैं गुणगान में मेरी आत्मा प्रभु का गुणगान करती है मेरा मन अपने मुक्ति दाता ईश्वर में आनंद बनाता है क्योंकि उसने अपने अप, अपने दीन दासी पर कृपा दृष्टि की है अब से सब पीढ़िया मुझे धन्य कहेंगी क्योंकि सर्वशक्तिमान सर्वशक्तिमान ने मेरे लिए महान कार्य किए हैं पवित्र है उसका नाम आज मेरी से my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior for who has for he has looked to be the favor or the lowliness of his servant my dear brothers and sisters mother mary in spite of all the difficulties and problems she had she had she had in her life but she was always peaceful she was always calm she was always joyful why because she was grateful to god for the great deeds that the lord had done for her in her life she was grateful 
Our dear brothers and sisters, yes, we are going to celebrate the feast of our patron saint. We all need to inculcate this good quality in our life. That we need to be grateful to the God for all the blessings, for the numerous blessings that we have been receiving from the Lord. Ham sabko yeh karde ke da aabhaar prakar karna hai, karde ke da prakar karna hai. Ham sabko aabhaari ban, aabhaari ban hai, karde ke ban hai. जाने अनजाने में हमारे जीवन में ईश्वर ने अनगिनत वरदानों से हम सबको संपन्न किया उन सभी बातों के लिए सभी आशीष सभी वरदानों के लिए हमें परमेश्वर को धन्यवाद देना है पवित्र सुसमाचार में हम पढ़ते हैं संत लोकस संत लोकस के अनुसार पवित्र सुसमाचार अध्याय सत्रह में हम पढ़ते हैं दस कोरियों के बारे में वे रोते बिलकते हुए प्रभु के पास आए प्रभु से प्रार्थना की दया से द्रवित होकर प्रभु कहते हैं जाओ अपने को बुरो की तो को देख लो रास्ते में ही वे दसों निराव निरोग हो गए और उनमें से एक ध्यान देने की बात है जो परदेशी समारे हैं वो खुशी के मारे आनंदित होकर वापस आता है तो आप वचन सुंदर तरीके से बताता है कि प्रभु के चरणों पर गिर पड़ा और प्रभु को धन्यवाद दे प्रभु की महिमा प्रभु की महिम प्रभु की महिमा की प्रभु को धन्यवाद दे प्रभु की स्तुति की और अंत में प्रभु कहते हैं कि आप दसों ने रोग नहीं हुए बाकी नौ कहा है क्या इस परदेश को छोड़ दो और किसी को भी नहीं लगा कि आपका परमेश्वर को धन्यवाद दे मेरे प्यारे भाई और बहनों हम सबको उन उस सवारे के समान कृतज्ञ बना है हमें ईश्वर के प्रति आभार बनना है वी ऑल नीड टू वी ऑल नीड टू बी ग्रेटफुल टू द लॉर्ड Mother Mary in throughout, Mother Mary throughout her life, she was grateful. That is why in in her pictures we see she was always very calm, very peaceful, very joyful. In spite of all the difficulties and problems and that she had to face in her life, because she because the presence of God was there in her life. Not only the presence of God was. Not only the presence of God was there in her life, but she always experienced the presence of God in her life. Now, my life in life, me, Jesus was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. Now, when he was present, he was always present. हमें भी हमेशा आनंदित रहना है प्रभु को धन्यवाद देना है जब तब भी हम आनंद रह पाएंगे जब जब हम प्रभु को धन्यवाद देंगे सारी बातों के लिए सभी आशियों के सभी वरदानों के लिए हमारे जीवन में जो भी विपत्तियां हैं जो मुसीबतें हैं जो परेशानियां हैं जो दुख संकट है जो बीमारियां हैं सभी बातों के लिए परमेश्वर को हमेशा धन्यवाद देना है परमेश्वर हमारी रक्षा करेंगे आज आइए आज के इस दिन का विशेष रूप से इस दिन का विशेष रूप से हम मां मरियम से मध्यस्था मांगे उनसे निवेदन करें कि मां मरियम सभी संतों और दूतों के साथ हम सबों के लिए परमेश्वर से मध्यस्था करें प्रार्थना करें कि मां मरियम की मध्यस्था के द्वारा परम पिता परमेश्वर हम सबों पर विशेष रूप से हमारे नोएडा के सेंट मेरीस पल्ली पर भरपूर मात्रा में आशीष बरसाए आप सबको और एक बार जय सु परम पिता परमेश्वर आप सबों पर भरपूर मात्रा में आशीष बरसाए मैं कौन रस्यू और I, on behalf of Saint Mary's Parish, thank Father Joseph Pindicanil for his inspiring words, which will help us in our spiritual journey. You can all participate in the Holy Eucharistic celebration at 6:45 p.m. at the Saint Mary's YouTube page every day.